Gaumont at the corner of Park Road and Dingle Lane, Prince's Park, Liverpool, opened on Easter Monday, March the 29th, 1937. Built on the site of the Dingle Picture Drone, which had been closed shortly after Denman Picture Houses Limited acquired it in 1930, the new Gaumont had an imposing appearance. The elevation was carried out in brick, with the section over the main entrance finished in grey and cream faience. The main entrance under the canopy was surrounded by bright blue tiles. The entrance foyer was curved and immediately opposite the main doors stood the pay box. A principal feature of the entrance foyer were the elaborate light fittings set in a moulded ceiling and joined by architectural strip lamps. The walls were lined with buff and brown linoleum. Staircases led to the balcony foyer. Here too, the walls were covered by linoleum, but this time bright blue, and the settees were upholstered with the material to harmonize with the color scheme. The light fittings were of a modern design and quite different from those in the entrance foyer below. Patrons entered the circle by the side walls at either end of the cross gangway that extended the full width of the theatre. There was seating for 1,500 persons in the stalls and balcony. All the chairs were supplied by Gaumont's chief theatre furnisher, Mrs. W. W. Turner and Company Limited of Birmingham. They were covered in a wine-coloured velvet with upholstered backs and armrests. The carpeting of the theatre was in the new modern design for Gaumont British Cinemas, incorporating the GB monogram. Decorations were in warm tones, the walls being textured and finished in amber shade. From the front of the balcony, the side walls curved to the proscenium frame and on either side of the proscenium there were two large grills finished in silver, gold and green. One of the grills on the right hand side was the outlet from the organ chamber, while two others, one at each side of the theatre, incorporated the loudspeakers for the public address system. The proscenium frame was round in section and finished in a coppery shade of amber. Concealed cove lighting reflected onto a corrugated surround. This was painted green. Over the balcony, a large square dome had lighting concealed in its moulding. Suspended from the ceiling were three-tier, two-tier and single-tier glass light fittings. On the ornamental ribs of the under balcony, architectural strip lights were fitted. In the ceiling, immediately in front of the proscenium opening, a line of seven circular lay lights completed the auditorium lighting. The stage was 15 feet deep and the proscenium opening 45 feet wide. Gold coloured material was used for the main curtains and the screen tabs were of a neutral colour that could be lit effectively by the three colours of the foot and overhead baton lights. The two-manual, six-rank Wurlitzer organ, played by Mr. William Whittle, had come from the Trocadero, Liverpool. The console, on a lift, was in the centre of the orchestra well. Although the cinema had Gaumont projectors with Brinkert arcs, it was the first theatre in Liverpool to be equipped with a Western electric mirophonic sound system and not Gaumont's own duosonic. The throw of the projection beam was 100 feet 